Okay, so they are lying about my pregnancy in America. And we need to be rescued. Um, I've been trying to put out this evidence about my case. So, um, let me go ahead and just... I want to share this scripture because um, I know that there are people that are on looking. I know there are people who are on looking um, because the people who um, did this covered up the evidence about um, this baby and covering up um, the evidence about my son and the evidence that his white Caucasian father, thank you, was abusing us. Um, they are going out of their way to try to hide everything that I have put out. They have tried to hide all the information about the people who were involved, the facility, the sergeants, um, the different um, black terrorists that they used to try to attack me when I was released from the jail. Um, my baby is still alive. Okay. So that means that the danger um, and the traps are still set. The danger is still there. The traps are still set. Um, and they still think that they are going to put this in motion for them to lie about my medical records. Um, put my son in danger. He's four years old. They have they had him since he was 22 months old to lie about this white male abusing me and my son. And of course, I'm pregnant by him as well. And they're covering that up. So this is very dangerous. Um, for them to be trying to cover up for this white Caucasian male, um, my children's father, Austin John Metter. He is a convicted felon, and he has he had several violent charges and was also convicted for a charge that um, was due to him being violent, um, which was actually another cover-up for other violence that he has done to me. So... I have a scripture here um, somewhere in, I think they call it Zechariah. And I came across this scripture because when I was in the Montgomery County Jail, they locked me up for protecting myself from Austin John Metter. After he had got out of prison, he came into my home in Conroe, Texas at 1308 Houston Street. Um, I lived in apartment three with my son. He was 20 months old in July 2000 and. 18 when Austin John Metter was released from a uh, facility um, called TDC. So they covered up all of the information that he was attacking me and abusing me in my home. And they are going to any, any length to try to stop the information from coming out. And when I was in this, they locked me up September 18, 2018 for protecting myself and my son in a public place where there was someone else also involved in the struggle trying to stop him from harming me and my son. And he was continuing to be violent with us. Uh, until he was harmed and that was what stopped him and he was taken by the um individual who was helping my son and i against him well to try to he, he was trying to restrain him and could not and he took him outside and 